then I'll throw you about. Okay. Yes, indeed, and welcome back on the Touchline. This is on Y254, the best of the best on Saturdays. We get a feel of what's happening in the field, you know. And on this particular session, we interact with players who've been out there on the field, and now they're here to tell us what, how does it feel to be out there, and can they explain what happens on the field? And in this case, I'm talking with KCB RFC players, uh, Patrick Oko and Emmanuel Opondo, who are with me on the guest set. Karibuni sana. Thank you, thanks. Yes, and let's talk about um, the season that was, right? But maybe the seventh season first, the national rugby okay. seventh season. In, in, a, in a nutshell, how would you describe how it was? It was awesome, it was amazing for mm -hmm. us as KCB. Mm -hmm. Although we fell short of our target, mm -hmm. we became number three in the overall. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it was amazing. Mm -hmm. The season was amazing, right? And the 15th season is coming up next? Uh, after the, the seventh season? Yeah. Yeah, the players get a few weeks rest and then we're back onto the 15th mm -hmm, season. Mm -hmm. Well, are you feeling like the, it will be a revenge for all those, <laughs> for the, you know, for the shortfalls in sevens? Uh, for sure, we take the positive from the sevens guys and the energy, they're uh -huh. bringing a lot of energy. Uh -huh. And just take it to take it forward to the 15th season. Uh -huh. yeah. And the 15th season of course, beginning with the Floodies, then the Kenya Cup. Yeah. What are the targets? Uh, the targets don't change. It's been th throughout, the, throughout the season. You have to go for the top position. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the top positions in this case at the at the seven circuit really things were, were, were kicking, right? <laughs> you know, and you began you began uh, two or three of the legs, things were working, but what really like the results kept on uh, swinging. I think we started slow, mm -hmm. Christy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think Christy you were we were at fifth place, mm -hmm. then moving forward out because of the transition and then a new crop of players coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, a bit of injuries on the third, second leg. Then we went to, from Christie, we went to Dala. Mm -hmm. uh, again, fifth place. Then we went to Ingo. I think the, the team had gelled enough. Mm -hmm. So playing at the Ingo, we like reached the final part and mm -hmm. lost to Harlequins. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, there are a bit of injuries. Then from there, we came back home uh, with the uh, likes of Kina Onyala Sati from the Olympics, mm -hmm. uh, it kind of boosted the team. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we won Kabeberi. Mm -hmm. uh, from Kabeberi, again, we had a bit of injury from Onyala, then mm -hmm. we went for... Um, from Kabeberi, we went to Driftwood. Mm -hmm. We managed to like uh, play at the final. Mm -hmm. Then uh, again, mm -hmm. we lost to Queens. Mm -hmm. Tough luck. Uh, I think it uh, was a good run for us, but uh, a lot to learn mm -hmm. on the positive. Mm -hmm. uh, moving forward, new targets, mm -hmm. uh, carrying the circuit. Uh, we were to like take the third pit on sevens. Mm -hmm. uh, this this uh, this circuit, though we fall short. Mm -hmm. uh, moving forward, same target. Lesson learned. We keep on working hard for mm -hmm. uh, better do, results. Do, yes. Do you think that um, there'll be time? There'll be time enough for for the team to produce results? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we're putting in the hours, of course. Mm -hmm. There'll be time. Uh, if uh, you, you want the results, you have to like work so hard, so hard on that, because other people are also working hard. Mm -hmm. They're not on your own, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Emmanuel, uh, maybe uh, looking at the, now the season, that 15th season, right? And um, how, what, 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 what do you think this season could be like? Uh, it's an interesting season. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have the likes of Impala coming back from, they were relegated the previous season, so they're coming back mm -hmm. this other season. We have the likes of Homeboys who are relegated. Mm -hmm. So we have teams coming off the Kenya Cup, and mm -hmm. then we have other teams mm -hmm. coming to the log. Mm -hmm. Of course, we, are, we have the top, top six teams, which basically are Cabras, KCB, mm -hmm. the likes of Oilers, and the likes of Queens. Mm -hmm. So... It's going to be an interesting season. It's going to be tough, mm -hmm. but KCB being a top tier team, mm -hmm. we're ready for it. We're up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, and what maybe has been the key factors behind the consistency in KCB's performance uh, for the past seasons? Past seasons, we have a world class coaching coaching team. Mm -hmm. um, Oliver Oliver Mangeni, the current coach, yes. who, isn't, mm -hmm. who isn't really new to the to the to the tech bench. Mm -hmm. Previously he was a line -out coach, but mm -hmm. now he's a, mm -hmm. he's a head coach. We mm -hmm. have Andrew, mm -hmm. the strength and conditioning coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have mm -hmm. Dennis Mwanja. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him who also coaches the Lioness who won mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we have, a, we have an able team of coaches mm -hmm. and then top class 
talent all over re recruit from all over all over Kenya mm -hmm. top top talent mm -hmm. yeah I, I I can, um, sorry I can say those, those are the things that mm -hmm. really put us a step ahead of the rest of the teams in yes. Kenya. Yes, and maybe you can talk about the previous coach, Curtis, who has been with the team for quite some time and yeah. produced the results along the way, but now he's, um, it's now Mangen in charge. What the transition, do you think it will, has uh, maybe in a way affect the team? I can't say it, uh, it's a transition, yes, but the, it's, a, it's just a rejig of the old, uh -huh. old tech bench uh -huh. because we have Oliver Mangen who was in the previous uh -huh. tech bench, so it's, uh -huh. it's just changing uh -huh. changing roles andrew uh, andrew as well was the sevens coach but now he's a strength and conditioning coach mm -hmm. we have dennis mwanja who was the forwards coach but now he's the assistant coach mm -hmm. yeah and, and the, the goals remain for the goals the, remain the same mm -hmm. to go for the top position mm -hmm. in, the, mm -hmm. in the country win the kenya cup and every every other 50s trophy that is available mm -hmm. enterprise cup kenya cup floodless tournament mm -hmm. and yeah. also that means that the the, the opponents are not sleeping either, especially the Cabras who have been really consistent as well and uh, what opponents all through the seasons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to give it for Cabras. They really, they've really upped the game and the, the better they play, the better we also play. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Patrick, uh, let's now look at the chances here. What was the brief from uh, head coach Amonde at the conclusion of the season, of the seventh season? Uh, the brief, uh, I mean, uh, now moving forward, what should moving happen? Forward, yes, uh, we, we can uh, have to on the seven side or on the 15 side. The seven side, the seven side, yes. Uh, we, since we had fall short of our target, mm -hmm. we uh, kind of have to come back, mm -hmm. jail as a team, mm -hmm. work on our skills mm -hmm. and the execution, mm -hmm. uh, strengthen a bit more because mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of knocks. Uh, see on our uh, moving forward, mm -hmm. what to like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was, was there a point during the series that you felt you, this thing, you're going home with it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, the last two legs from Driftwood and uh, I think the, from the top three teams, mm -hmm. uh, the one that was to win the Driftwood mm -hmm. and come back uh, just a finalist on the Prince Lou was to like carry the day. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, we didn't win the Driftwood part. So mm -hmm. coming to the Prince Lou, mm -hmm. uh, we were just we were we were supposed to win mm -hmm. Prinslow uh, to become overall because we had like eliminated Cabras from the same as in Driftwood, mm -hmm. and of course in in Prinslow uh, not go getting out of the group stage uh, somehow damaged yeah, the chances. Yeah, it affected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. we like play, played at the ninth place, uh, and being overall, it's uh, it's all about points. Mm -hmm. The higher points you have, the higher you. It's mm -hmm. you're like collecting points from the legs from yeah. leg one to leg six. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, and um, maybe looking at the run, the run of the other teams, you finished third overall, but there was the Queens really who, I would say that they came back and just claimed the title. What would you say was, was maybe uh, enabled them to, to have such a good run? I think they had a good start. If you see like the first, the first three or four, they managed to make it to the final. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a, a higher point compared to us not making it the final on the first leg and the second and maybe the fourth, fifth leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they, they are like prepared early. They were in for it, uh, yeah. And of course, this particular leg has been, um, has been key to re either finding new talent for, for the sevens for Shuja, right? Yeah, okay. Especially the team that did all the good work heading, uh, getting back into the, into the world rugby sevens circuit, right? And as well as qualify for the Olympics. Most of the players were drawn from that particular uh, series, the national series, and the coaches were all out there scouting for talent. Would you say that this season was, was so competitive and everybody was maybe out there to showcase themselves? Yeah, it was so competitive. Uh, from my own perspective, as you can see, when the boys from Shujua came back from uh, the Olympics, mm -hmm. it wasn't easy run for them. Mm -hmm. You can see, like we have the legs of Kinatanga who was injured in mm -hmm. this in the circuit. We mm -hmm. have uh, Okoth, and mm -hmm. we also have Juang. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it, it was a it was it was a tough one, mm -hmm. but uh, I think they they like get a chance to mm -hmm. pick the best mm -hmm. from what they want and the caliber of players they want and the the system they want to play at the national team. Mm -hmm. Yes, Emmanuel, what will be the deciding points now? What the deciding factors this season, the 15th season? Uh, it's a long season. Mm -hmm. So, and again, just like the sevens, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So we take it a game at a time and just keep ticking the boxes and 
yeah the rest will take it will take care of itself especially mm-hmm. if we do mm-hmm. well enough mm-hmm. and manage to manage to get a home semi final and a home final mm-hmm. I think the tides will change mm-hmm. yeah previous yeah. seasons we've been traveling to kakamega mm-hmm. and then so hopefully we play well enough take all the points that are available mm-hmm. get a home semi final and get a home final mm-hmm. I think the it'll be a good end to the season mm-hmm. yeah. and along the way along the uh, past regular 15 seasons what do you think has been the key thing to most of the teams in in uh, doing well uh, it's consistency mm-hmm. uh, making sure the strength levels every team has, has a strength and conditioning coach nowadays mm-hmm. so yeah having having systems that are consistent to mm-hmm. and fit and fit the players mm-hmm. yeah Mm-hmm. Yes indeed. And for the seventh I mean for the seventh uh, season now I mean we have to wait for 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 next season, right? Yes, yeah. we also have uh Safari, Safari Sevens mm-hmm. coming these uh, next month mm-hmm. uh, at Shaman Chakos. Mm-hmm. 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 Did you meet your individual targets? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, to some extent, yeah. Good yeah. question. Yeah. 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 Well, what what were they to win uh, overall uh-huh. uh, one of my target was to like defend the kababeri because uh-huh. the last the previous circuit we had one kababeri uh-huh. uh, though i didn't get a chance to like play all of the legs because uh-huh. i was uh, undergoing a transfer from daystar to kcb uh-huh. uh, right now i've kind of fallen short of my target because i did not win the mm-hmm. overall mm-hmm. but i keep on taking on the boxes <laughs> i think it's big modest <laughs> it's a young player come up really through the ranks uh-huh. yeah <laughs> yeah, uh, previous season last year when when Asati got injured uh-huh. and we had, a, we had, a, we had we didn't have any many number nines Emmanuel really stepped up and showed what he can do for the club uh-huh. so he's a, he's a player to watch for the future uh-huh. yeah yes. he shouldn't be too modest uh, hey, hey, Emmanuel <laughs> don't be too modest right <laughs> but the season has been fantastic what would you, what would you review as, as, as an individual player oh, that where, where, where does this set you up to now what does it make you now target my target right now yes. i had to play for the national team of course mm-hmm. and pre- represent my country mm-hmm. out there mm-hmm. show what we can do and pro- probably win mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. two of the legs in hsb because we we like one mm-hmm. at, uh was it singapore the mm-hmm. other time yeah. mm-hmm. uh with kina coach andrew being the player kina mm-hmm. oh, was it kina billy yeah mm-hmm. so i um, like to win two of the HSBC legs and play uh, at a higher level. Uh-huh. And it's beginning in December. Yeah. yeah in November. In, in November, November. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, what, what, what Kenya, Kenya has to make a, a, a great introduction, no real introduction, but a great comeback, right? Yeah, of course. Uh-huh. What, what do you think will be key? Having that uh, good number of players have not been in that, uh, maybe in that circuit, but of course they were the Olympics, which is a big stage for, for them as well. Pardon? Like for 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 care for the Kenya Sevens now getting back to the uh, world circuit, right? Okay. What, what do you think will be key for them to perform well? Uh, I think they are they are they're okay. Their basics are right. Uh, mm-hmm. They're having a good system, good coaching. Mm-hmm. I think they are also there. I think they have finished their transition. Mm-hmm. Right now, they're working on their depth and uh, skills. Mm-hmm. I think they have a good skill set. Uh, the coach Kevin Wambua is a good coach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, for me. They are, they are up to task. Mm-hmm. And pa- uh, yes. And Patrick, now let's talk about the uh, whole, f- whole season now that's coming up yeah. and maybe uh, the rest of the teams as well. They are all eyeing KCB. Yeah. But maybe what's the secret for KCB? Uh, like I said, world-class coaches, top talent of players in Kenya, mm-hmm. the sponsor, KCB Bank, mm-hmm. they really do a lot for us, be it training equipment, mm-hmm providing floodlights that we, so we can train mm-hmm. late into the night or early in the morning mm-hmm. g- providing a, a proper gym in the in the KCB sports club mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and and uh, personal targets uh, personal targets this they remain the same win the Kenya Cup win every 15th trophy that is available to us mm-hmm. yeah Yes indeed uh, speaking to Emmanuel Opondo and Patrick Oko the KCB RFC players and they had to talk about uh, their um, targets as well as their achievements and their dreams right and Emmanuel now looking at uh, maybe at how you've performed this season and how where 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 does it take you it makes you dream more 
what do you think we dream of yeah, playing yeah, in the national yeah, team, of course? Na national team. Of course. Yes. They should, yeah. Uh, the call-up has come? Ah. <laughs> about to come. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> <laughs> Patrick is really yeah, watching for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he should come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe so. Because uh -huh. I've worked hard enough and I believe I'm up to task. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's been hard work and discipline. Okay. Yeah. What else? And consistency, of course. Uh -huh. Yes. And when it comes? So you just grab it, of course. Uh -huh. that, that's why we are here. Uh -huh. That's why you put in the hours, of course. Uh -huh. And, and that, I think that's the most proudest moment of any player wearing yeah. wearing the national colours. Yeah. Yeah. What 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 is that? What kind of joy does it bring to a player apart from wearing the colours? Uh, to represent other fellow citizens, uh -huh. uh, it's a privilege to be at the highest stage of rugby right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. And maybe uh, for for Kenya, how do you fancy their chances? Just coming back to to the World Series. Uh, probably to. I think they are, they, are, they, are, they are up to task for what they are going to. Mm -hmm. And looking yeah. at how they perform at the Olympics, yeah. finishing ninth and also doing really well though. They, mm -hmm. Yeah, they did well. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they are, like right now they are working on uh, bringing an academy, the Morans, to like feed the Shuja mm -hmm. with the uh, players, mm -hmm. uh, more strength, uh, more work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for the 15s, <laughs> uh, Patrick, yeah. you are knocking on the national team as well? I have played for Kenya 15s before <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and this season, should what should it bring with? Uh, it's going to be a good season for KCB. Mm -hmm. The boys are putting in the work. Mm -hmm. We have the new signings, the likes of Eric Miaso, mm -hmm. Tyson Miner, Davis Nyaundi from Oilers. Mm -hmm. uh, they're bringing new energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully they gel well with the team and then just go from there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Coach Mangeni should uh, begin his coaching on, his reign. Yeah. on, on a stomp, right? Yeah. Thank you. He's continuing because yeah. he previously coached the Lions of the Super Series. Yes. So he's like continuing with what he like yeah. started. Yes, indeed. Oh. And for Emmanuel, we wish you all the best, right? Thank you. As you wait for that call up yeah, to the national team okay. and also future uh, seven uh, games that's as far as with KCB is concerned. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for gracing the touchline today. It's been a pleasure. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Thank indeed. You. That was uh, Emmanuel Opondo and Patrick Oko, KCB RFC players who've been with us on the touchline. That's on the interview segment. We take a short break, but we're back. Stay with us.